Um, my name is Shafel Kore. I have so many titles, but I want to go by Afropolitical Feminist because my work revolves around people, policy processes, and centering young people in the processes of engagement in policy spaces, political spaces. So what can young people do, right, to enhance opportunities for employment? I think first of all young people should um, organize politically. Because I, will, I, ca I can't be the kind of person who says young people are not doing stuff, young people are not creating stuff, young people are not imagining or reimagining their future. They're already doing that. But they're inhibited and they're not being heard and they're not being supported basically because of the political structures that are there that are influencing economic structures, that are influencing financial structures, that are influencing how they can grow and engage. So I think young people should in organize politically. We have to seriously hold governments and leaders to accountable. There's just no way out of it. And the, the thing about the song, right, there's like a song around young people are great, they can entrepreneur. Fantastic. But do we actually unpack entrepreneurship and what it means to be successfully entrepreneuring in whichever space you're entrepreneuring, right? Do we understand that access to finances is a problem? Do we understand that young people don't know how to manage their money and those who even know don't have access to that money? Do we understand that the environment itself has so much bureaucracy that even when you have that money, just doing business the right way is so difficult? And I will use myself for example. Um, a couple of my wonderful friends in Kenya and I met in the streets of Nairobi several times complaining about government, complaining about institutions, all these things. And then we decided we're going to create an organization that will address young people's agenda, that will center them in policy, that will center them in processes, electoral, governance, democracy, accountability. It was government and its lack of policies that are friendly that denied us registration for almost one and a half years. It's the fact that somebody behind a desk chooses to give opportunities to their people, right? And their people make this a hereditary opportunity. So it's given to my son and to his son and to us. So you're out here with, yes, yeah, so it's a cycle. So you're out here struggling to make it work, yet you have brilliant ideas. You're great in the way you think. Some young people have started amazing things. Their track record can be, can be seen. Their impact can be measured, but still opportunities are not given. Whose responsibility is that? So I also feel like it's, it's, it's always very selfish to just blame young people and call them lazy and call them crazy and call them entitled, yet they're actually doing stuff. If you stopped and listened and actually heard what they're saying, you would know where to invest when it comes to young people and their businesses.